Play the feud. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get to the memes. All right, Steve, let's take the first tag board here. This is how every Browns, fe Browns fan feels right now. <laughs> from Zootopia, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Bull, good call. Yeah, We're waiting in super slow motion. We're not as patient, though. Let's nah, go. I'm saying it's coming today. We're gonna be slamming that hammer very soon. We uh, want by the way, decision. as badly as we all want it, nobody has like people getting mad at Sue Robinson, which is ridiculous. Yeah, that's a little over. <laughs> that's the, stupid. Over the top. I'm seeing all these complaints on Twitter. I get it. We're all frustrated. We all want the answer. Here's but... my. Here was my fear yesterday. Yeah. I thought. We see what happens when the Supreme Court issues a decision that people don't like. They go to their, they go to the justices' home, yeah. Yeah. and they protest. Let's not go to Sue Robinson's no. home and protest. No. Okay, we're above that. We're having fun with it, and we're kind of making fun that this decision is taking so long. Yeah. But at some point, it's going to hit. And I don't know what this is, but at some point, we're going to be like, okay, enough of this. Yeah. We got to have it. Yeah. And I would imagine it would be when the first preseason game. Is rolling around like we better know Dang, by then. I feel like it's all. I'm already there. We didn't kick You're the there. Kick. I'm we, there. I mean, I, I, I'm not mad at her, but I'm. I just want the answer. We yeah. kicked all do. It, we've kicked it that far down to the free. For the well, free, free listen. Game? We were saying that it, we were going to know by Fourth of July. Yeah. But then we're going to say by the start of training camp. That's it, okay. But this is the thing. We're here. This is the thing. Jay. It's, if she stretches this out, it's providing an unfair advantage. Like the Browns won't know well, who they start quarterback, so you can't but properly that's prepare. That's like, that's, you knew what you were getting into. If, when yeah, you're I'm right, saying right. the NFL should want everybody to have a fair advantage at this thing. You don't want to go into this season and be like, well, if we would have known Deshaun Watson's decision I don't think, though, that that's on Sue's radar. No. Like, she's not, not at all. concerned with competitive <laughs> advantage, competitive disadvantage. She's looking at all of the evidence, and she's trying right. to do this as she did her job as a district nope. uh, judge. For 25 let me years. Ask you, let me ask you this. Is, it, is this is this out of the realm? What if there's nothing by the season? Like if you get to the first game that he's so then he should allowed to play and he's allowed to play. Do yeah. you think they could say, well, we, we never said we had a timeline. Well, we could, it could come at any point in the season. You know what would be bad about that? Because yeah. I did think about that. What would be bad about that is the Browns would be starting and preparing as if Deshaun Watson was going to play the yep. season. Yeah, and they might get him for one week yeah and then if the decision comes out after he plays and lights out week one they're yeah. one and oh and then he gets suspended yeah, for be, six or eight some, or whatever yeah. furniture like, that is yeah. really <laughs> <That's some laughs> yeah I mean, it seems <laughs> crazy at this point like again but we don't know like a lot of people point out well it's been three weeks since the hearing it's been two weeks since the briefs like what's taking so long but i don't know i'm not a lawyer i'm not a judge i don't know how long these things take yeah but it seems like it's been enough time the fact that it the possibility of it going to the middle of September seems crazy. That's another it eight does weeks. to me that it, yeah. it does to me too. You got another meme. We got two more. Let's okay. take the next one. Steve tag board number seven here. This is from our friend McNeil reflog. <laughs> 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 yeah, reflog comes up with some really, he's very really good. If you don't follow him, <laughs> very funny. Funny now. He's hey. a great follow on. Twitter. See, I don't understand. See, this is crazy. You ever look at somebody else's tweets and say, could I get away with that? Yeah. I don't know if I could put no judges, no federal judges face on a milk box and get away with that. I don't know. Like, it might be like, hey, did you just really do that? I'm cool. I don't know if I could. You, I don't know if I could get away with that. Yeah. Well, he's, 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 he's a comedian, really, to me. So, okay, there you he's go. He's like in that Mike Polk vein and, yeah. and Sir Yacht. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. funny. And you know how sometimes comedians have a little bit of creative liberty to yeah. do oh, things? Oh, they could that, do. They used to have a, they used to have a, a, Carte Blanche. They was just I mean, like, it's a joke. Do yeah. whatever it's you a joke. It is a joke. It's yeah. a joke. It's a so joke. And, and, and he's, it's not a threat. He's just saying, right. Where, where you are you, Sue? Yeah, yeah, where, right. where you that's at? Good. That's a good one. <laughs> New phone. Who this? One more. Yeah, we got one more. This is from Dolan's Chief, but it's a good meme. Dolan's Chief. <laughs> yeah. right. so the internet stays undefeated is the bottom line of this yeah uh, i mean it's been a while something. think about it he said the same thing a friday dump memorial day remember yeah. we talked about no, it no fourth of july july fourth of july, july. july yeah. but, but this been going on four months right <laughs> yeah months well mm. really over a year if you, if you go back to when this story right. first started it's and to get to this think. point, so much for swift justice. It, it started what February of last year, yeah, March, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, so we, yeah. and, and and here we are. We still approaching don't know. a year. And By a the half. way, if any of our viewers see some memes that they think we would uh, would be good for us to share with our viewers, um, send them to us, and we'll try to see. You know, if anything's really funny and makes us laugh, we'll see. We can put in. them on TV immediately. Before we move on, Jay, we got three YouTube comments I want to read about the shorts oh. debate. Oh, okay, go mm. ahead. What Someone are they saying? Someone called Bull the Cleveland Cav. 
Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love it. Cleveland Cavs, there you go. Because yeah. you know what? It did seem like one of his cav- Cavs yeah, not was calves. way no, more defined than the other one. Well, the reason is for that, that the Achilles? is because my smaller one is the one I tore 10 years ago, yeah. and I still haven't been able to get it back to as strong yeah. as the other one. I see. I got yeah. it. I got the Cleveland Cavs. I kind of like it, though. I love it. It's good. Uh, I think it's great. Steve it's B., which may be Steve Becker in disguise, says, it's a sports show, not a fashion show. Wear sweats if you want. And then Raymond Moore says, it's too hot to make bull wear pants. You got to let this thing breathe. <laughs> <laughs> let this thing breathe, baby. Let it breathe. Oh. It is actually comfortable in the studio. It is. I'm never hot in here. Yeah. But even it's, freezing it's getting hot in here. I don't know here. what you're talking about. Uh, oh, well, shout out you to guys are hot back there? It's oh, so cold, cold back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, I think it's nice. I'm, I'm honest, it's always it's comfortable. It's a lot of hot air out here, guys. Oh, yeah. Delights. We're keeping it nice and toasty. <laughs> All right, well, it is the first day of camp, so let's get into the yeah, let's, real let's, topics here. Let's dive into it. Um, obviously, no news yet on Deshaun. Right. I want to take a quick second to remind you that whenever the news comes down, we are going to flip the switch, and we're going live. So here's how you're going to be notified. Go to our YouTube page, subscribe, and hit the notifications because – this could happen at 1.30 today. It could happen at 3.30 today. Whenever it happens, the second we go live, you'll get a notification, and you'll know to flip us on, and we'll have the very latest on the information when the decision comes out. All right, we start today with the beginning of training camp, and obviously this is a huge day. Yes. Uh, I know you remember these days well. Yes, I do. Um, you went through many of the first day of camps at high school and also while playing at college. What is the first day of camp? I said it's kind of my New Year's Day. Mm. What does the first day of camp remind you of? First day of school. And I got pictures. Let me let me see those oh, nice. pictures. Let we me, got you, John. Let, let me see those pictures. Show and tell. Look at baby. that. Oh, this is oh, this is wow. my time in San Fran. You know, we so you come out the car, right? And they got in the parking lot, they got the photographers right there. And they taking pictures. When you get there, they make you sign your name and say what year this is and whatnot. And it's wow. like happy camp. Next Man. picture, me, me and my boy Mays in the parking lot posing for our check-in. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always that first day of you school. Look like you're taking a crap there. Yeah, it is. He got, he, <laughs> well, I, you got to be. You gotta be <laughs> I don't think I could do it like that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I see what you mean, though. You got you yeah. got your fresh backpack yeah. on. You're here to. It's time to st- go to work. Yeah, it's time absolutely. To to G. Bush, what about you? First day of camp reminds man, you of. Man, listen. See, Tyvis is a defensive back. Uh, oh my goodness! Tyson was running here playing seven on seven half the camp. <laughs> well, I did. I did do inside drill. Oh, they, they, they box safeties had to come down and do inside drill. You get you some of this. Come on now, here. I give me some points, man. For linemen, it's like I gotta start touching grown men that's stronger than me. Like <laughs> for hours, every single day. I'm like, bro. Actually, you start to think about it probably in middle of July. <laughs> and the first thing you should be thinking about, you know this. <laughs> That running test. Are you in shape? That running test is coming. Yeah. I, was yeah. never, I was never a fan of those. Oh, who is? I, but this is the thing. Like, so when I was in Seattle, they didn't do conditioning tests. Really? Because they, yeah, Pete Carroll's like, you're a grown man. We trust that you should come in here and be in shape. What sense does it make to run somebody's legs and then go to camp where you're gonna run their legs again and by the season you'd be dead? Uh, I never, mm-hmm. I never understood that. Like you come in and you do so like our running test. So there was two different versions. When I got there first. We ran three four hundreds, right? Mm. And I don't know why anybody defensive lineman, offensive lineman ran three four hundreds. You had to run three four hundreds on the track, and you had between uh, the, the DBs had. Now, mind you, regular DBs had sixty seconds. <laughs> wow! Ah, yeah, right. Like I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yo, right. They give them sixty five the next time. <laughs> yeah, right. So you for, for the first one sixty. <laughs> What's the, the next t- one sixty five? Yeah, what What's the, the time? So, so what, what you mean? What, what, what they, what they it, coming in at 400? Oh, so in, in the 400, so you got to... You better tell me it's like 60 you, seconds. You, it's 60. That's what they have. Oh, like I thought you seconds. were saying rest time. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, 60 seconds, is, that's, uh, that's not so, bad. So then the next one, the ne- the only rest you got is between the the, 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 the groups. The groups, right? Okay. So that's, that second one, you like, oh, okay, I'm good, right? Second one is... But by the time you get to the third one, you really ain't got nothing, bro. You ain't got nothing in the tank. So you just running around and you're like, bro, they got the trash cans on the field. Yeah. And no one liked that one. But then the next one, the, the extra second version was we had 22 one tens, right? 22? 22. And, Man, and they did y'all. And, and the, they wow. changed because it was 15 it, seconds for the DB, 17 seconds for linebackers, fullbacks, quarterbacks. And then tight ends, and then linemen had 19 seconds. Sam Fran, we had 12 halves, 16 seconds for skill, 18 for big skill, and 20 seconds for linemen. 
You had 12 halves, 30 seconds rest time. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. College, it was two, three hundred. And you're really testing it at the, when you get into the upper reps. Yeah. Yeah. The, and first, yeah, the first few one is nothing. But when right. you get to the tour, but the you're end, pacing yourself. Yeah. You want to come the, in a half a second. That's early. the thing where people mess up. They get up there and try to blow it. I'm going to yeah. show everybody I'm Rookie shit. mistake. Run the time. Yeah, yeah. right. If right. Any, any kids out there watch, run the time. Yeah. You got to be in at 16 seconds, come in at 15.78. Because you know they're going to 12. <laughs> 13, 14. Yeah, that's how I get. 15, you want to be right there. Yeah, that's it. That's right. You got a lot more of those to go. So if you fail, you got to keep doing it. Hold on. Yeah. If you miss one, right? They, yeah. they tally it they, from us. So say for instance, <laughs> so some people mess up and miss like one of the first five. You still got to complete the running test, yeah. but then you have to at come the, in, be, in how between practice. How does that practice. make an offensive or defensive lineman a better football player? They it, just it, It's stretching it, out. It, it's, what, it's stretching uh, out their... It's maximum, like your lung capacity, you're building it through doing wind sprints, doing even yeah. the 400 is considered mm. stretching it out. So when you're going in seven second bursts hmm. and you got to do it 60 times, it's nothing. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's what they want. Right. They want to get to. So you never hit the point of exhaustion in the fourth quarter. And then you think is you think you're in great shape, right? I like swear every school, year you, you think, th and then you go if you play basketball after football. Oh, you, you get the basketball and you realize it's a whole. That's a totally different, different shape. Yeah. That, that's that, a totally that quick jumping, and then you got to guard somebody on defense for unlimited time. But I, tell, I tell you what, G, if you go play basketball and then go play football, you be in tip top shape. Oh yeah, you, you like, oh, I'm good. Yeah, they because you get day. a little break. But too basketball, bad, too bad is, basketball season comes after football. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> and, track a different shape too. That, that's no track is track is ridiculous shape. <laughs> yeah. That's borderline. No. So, Bull, what does first day of training camp remind you of? Uh, well, I've spent a lot of time at, at Brown's training camp in Berea over the last 10 years. I think it's uh, the sense of optimism, right? We talked a little bit about it yesterday, yeah. the fact that it's all unknown. And for so many years when the Browns had really no realistic chance of doing anything, it, was, it, it gave you false hope. But I think today and everything the fans have gone through this offseason and are still going through, like kind of waiting for the Watson situation to unfold, it is a sense of normalcy especially because the last two training camps have not had fans, right? Or is it three? Last two. No, yeah. last two training mm -hmm. camps have not had fans because of COVID. And now the fans are back. And I saw somebody tweeted a picture of all the media members going in there. And G and I are going to go to Brown's training camp when I come back from vacation. Um, and I just think of all, first of all, it's a lot of good memories for me, just kind of schmoozing with other members of the media. And that's fun. But also meeting a lot of fans and that excitement, that sense of optimism and this year it feels real, especially if Watson plays. Is all, it, it, Everybody feels that way. Every, every fan that goes to every training camp for the first day, you have that sense of excitement, that right. zero and zero record, we got a shot. Yeah. You know, we're going to get into this tomorrow, so I don't want to dive too much into it, but you talk about optimism. I think everybody here feels like this is a playoff team. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet about Deshaun Watson, but I think we all agree that this is a playoff roster. And there was a, a list that came out, and I'm just going to mention it today as a tease for tomorrow's show. You guys aren't going to believe where they have the Browns. Uh, <laughs> Laughable. And, and, and you at home Laughable. won't believe where they have the Browns. But we're going to talk about that tomorrow. That's just a tease down to tomorrow's show. So you talk about optimism, and I, I, I agree with you. It is like that first day of school. I said it's like a happy new year day, mm -hmm. especially when you go back and you're renewing all the old relationships. A lot of teammates you guys haven't seen during mm -hmm. these, you know, obviously during the, the, the mini camps you have. Yeah. But it's been a stretch now. Six and, weeks. and the same thing for the media. I always, whenever I was going to camps, that first day, you're seeing people, friends in the media that right. you haven't seen for months. Yep. Then day two hits, and there's sort of the pop and circumstance of day one. Right. But then the reality of what you're in for, which is for the players, four, five months of a ridiculous grind <laughs> and not knowing how it's going to go. Yeah. What's day two like when you show up at camp? Day two ain't bad at all. It's because it's. You still not in pads yet. I think you go one. You, I think you go two days without pads, and then the pads yeah, yeah. come on, and that's when. But that's an exciting time too. Day two is the the playbook is vanilla. It's still the basics. It's probably put in the second install. Every day is a new install. You get out there, you just run it, and it's just still playing ball. Now in San Francisco, practices went by like this. And it was, it was, I loved it. Why? What they do different? I don't know what the, it's just like they didn't spend a ton of time doing stuff. Like it was, a, you got a script, you get through these plays, you got team run, team pass, seven on seven, one on ones, then another team period at the end, and that's it. 
And it's obviously special teams to sprinkle. You got special teams at the first 15 minutes, halfway point. You got special teams again. Yeah. G. Bush, day two for you. Uh, uh, day two is day two is is where it really starts to set in in terms of the younger dudes. So like, if you were one of the rookies, you're not gonna be getting reps like that, right? You pumped and you excited, but day two. You you doing a lot of reading off cards. <laughs> you doing a lot of this. Hey hey hey. You gonna, you gonna go over here and, and don't mess this up. In the word in Steve Becker voice. Like so you you doing a lot of that. You're not really even getting reps like that. So by the third or fourth day, everybody that's younger, that's that's not in the too deep, they chomping at the bit. Cause like Tyva said, like mm -hmm. he when you when you in there, you feel like I've arrived. I'm in the league. I'm ready to go. Got to show you. And so. then. When you're not getting them reps, that's when that, that angst and that hunger start to come in because you got to realize a lot of those dudes are have been playing their whole life. They were stars in college. They right. were stars in high school. They was they was, I mean, you know, ball players. So now that day two come around, people start separating themselves, right? Mm -hmm. You start seeing guys that, you know, people that was laughing and joking before they ain't laughing because they sure. looking at you as competition. competition now. When you look when you whether it's college or pro are are there guys you think down deep are secretly Rooting for a guy to get a little hurt, not serious, but get nicked up absolutely. just enough for them to get their opportunity. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. don't nobody want to be on the bench. And if the, right. only, if the only way, if that guy is better than me, and my only chance of playing, yeah. But that's over the course of training camp. That's was it, that comes into effect. People's going to get hurt. People's hamstrings yep. start getting tight. It's like, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. Take the day off. I got you today on these reps. So that's when you get yep. in there. You're able to prove yourself. That's how a lot of rookies end up with the twos and the ones. They mm -hmm. like, you know, we're going to rest one of our starting guys. Right. Earl, when I was in Seattle, Earl ain't going today. So Typhus, you with the twos. That like that's and how that's you get your in. chance yeah. to make an impression. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to move on from this quickly because I want to talk about how Deshaun Watson should handle camp because obviously all eyes will be on him. But before we move to that quickly, you guys have both won championships. You won them in high school state championships. You won a national championship at college mm -hmm. at Ohio State. Can a championship be won in training camp? In other words, the work that's being done right now, is it frivolous or is it absolutely the foundation to a championship season? I want to say, we'll tell this story a little bit. Yeah, I think you can. 1996, we played St. Ignatius, right? And at that time, we was playing them in the state semifinal. We had them 10 nothing at halftime. 10 we like, oh, it's a, it's a wrap. We could never get past them. We just kept losing to them for three, four years. And we would say, why is this team on our schedule? Like, right, we're a public school. How we do we keep playing them, guys? I'm like, <laughs> we might not make it to the playoff. 96, we thought we got over the hump. We could have swore we was going to the state championship game. They came back and did it, right? They came back and, and, and won the game and actually shut us down the second half. 97 comes around. It's the hardest I've ever worked or ran or did anything in my life, even in college. In in camp. In camp. All you were doing was thinking about beating them. All well, I was thinking about how I'm gonna survive in the next day. <laughs> right. My co my long coach, term though. My, long term. <laughs> my coach Tom McDaniels was like, hey listen, I'm gonna let you know something right now. Hey, uh y'all going this gonna be the hardest thing you ever ever done. And I asked him because I do a color commentator for McKinley now and I asked him last year during the game, he said uh, you know, I had a I had a conversation and we'll talk about this with, with coach Kyle. He had a conversation with him and he actually was asking him how to get over the hump and Chuck Kyle was such a cool dude. He was like, well, you got to do this, this, this and that. Wow. No kidding. Facts. He's like, yo, he even asked him like we were ranked number one, right? They ranked number one in USA Today and, and coach McDaniel said he was going to tell them USA Today did not rank us that, like that because he knows what he kind of, want that he don't want that bullseye or the spotlight and didn't even think we was mature enough to handle it. Mm -hmm. So he asked Coach Kyle who beat the brakes off, off of us for four years in a row and he said, look, embrace it. He said, you know, you just got to embrace it and then when you embrace it and you and you go through the, the motions and you say, look, the expectation is we're going to be here every year and when you set the expectations and you work to those type of standards, it didn't matter if they had more people in office and defense. We worked like we we was we was better. We worked like we had to get to where they was at. And, and so you credit getting over that hump to, to what the work you did in so training. That camp. work you did running mm. them track like we would run. He used to tell my he told my dad I had a job. He said, look, if you don't kind of if he ain't at conditioning, I don't care if he played basketball, baseball, and he got a job. 
he got to come at six in the morning to get his work in before mm. everybody. Wow, oh, that's oh, right. you that's not my language. language. Mm. I right. said, okay. Yeah, no, All that's right. a championship mentality. That's my language. Everybody that's what I'm that. talking about, G. What about you and, and your national championship at Ohio State? How much do you I think credit what you did in camp to being able to have that right mentality and get over the hump? Well, I think it, I credit it a lot, actually. I, we had a coaching change. Our defensive yep. coordinator yep. from uh, Wisconsin, Chris Ash, came. So we was learning a whole new defense. And what I learned is that that offseason, it's pretty much like the offseason that the defense is dealing with now at Ohio State. Just criticism. Y'all are terrible. What happened to the silver bullets? All of that. Right. So as a defense, we was like, listen, we, we about to still, we getting, we getting them bullets back flying. And we came together, hunkered down. Training camp was hard as heck at Ohio State. Hot, everything. Plus, you with Coach Meyer, two a days. Oh, it was ridiculous. But it, it helped us stay together. And what, what I found out is we grew as a family. Like, it sounds cliche, but we you actually know? became a family. Like, like, bro, I got your back. No matter what, whatever happens, if you down, I got you. I'm going to pick you up. I'm not going to let you fail. And that mentality started in training camp. And that's what I think was the recipe that allowed us to make it past those hard teams in, in Wisconsin and Alabama and, and Oregon. We got to those games. I think the fact that we loved and cared about each other because I wanted to look my teammates in the eyes and, and let, let you know, I will not let you down. I'm not going to fail you. Whatever right. it takes. If it takes me to go out there and run through the A gap full speed and hit this quarterback and this running back all game, that's what I'm going to do. Bonding, Bonding, team building, everything. All that. And it all started in training camp. Wow. All right. Good. Good to know. All right, we want to talk about Deshaun Watson because we, every every eye at camp, all the national media is here. They're here for one reason. I mean, they usually would come by the Browns camp and they'd yeah. be here for a day or two mm-hmm. every year. But this year, ESPN has sent the troops. Yeah. NFL Network has the troops. <laughs> yeah. NBC has a person. CBS, all of them are right. here. Yeah. And they're all looking at number four. Yeah. They want to be here when the news, news breaks, oh, yeah. and they're all anticipating it's going to be early. It'll be interesting to see what happens if by day seven of camp we don't have a verdict, how many of them peel off and go home or go to other camps. How does Deshaun Watson handle the media crush that he is certainly going to see at this training camp? He First of all, he should talk to the media today, I think. I don't know what – I mean, they already talked. I'm assuming he hasn't they, they talked. They started at 11, correct? You know, it's, have we heard if he's going to talk? Stefanski talks at 11.15, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at it, but no one's spoken yet. I haven't seen any quotes or anything on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I think it's imperative that he talk. I think it's also imperative when he's asked about the situation and say, listen, I've talked about this a bunch of times. I have nothing new to say about it. Um, and – you know, I, I, I stand by it. It's being handled by the league. It'll eventually be settled. And I wouldn't go into any further detail about the situation because I think he, you know, can only say something wrong in that in that vein. But I think he should talk and he should start getting in the habit of talking about football and trying to, you know, sway the media to ask him football questions, even though especially the national media is not going to want to ask him football they questions yeah. because they got their stories that they want to write. And um, if you're the Browns, do you want to put them out there or sure. do you want to shield yes. them from all of that? Sure. No, I, I think it's a bad idea to hide it because if you're hiding him, it looks like you're hiding something. And yeah. I, don't, I don't think you want to do that. Okay. And, and I For think- the record, Nick Chubb and Miles Garrett spoke today. Deshaun Watson did not speak. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, <clears throat> it doesn't surprise me. Right. It doesn't. And, and, and I'm, I, I'm with you yeah. in, in theory. I want him to talk. Yeah. And if I'm the PR guy, I want to get, and if I'm the Browns organization, I want to get him out there for the exact reason you said. Yeah. But I can understand. I, I, I anticipated that they would not make him available at least today. Mm-hmm. I think he will sometime this week. He'll just going to speak. But uh, it doesn't shock me that the Browns didn't roll him out there today. I think, I think you could do a good job of, like you said, sometimes people can use the media to get their point across, right? All you have to do is come out there and say, you don't got to Marshawn Lynch the thing, right? You can just come out and say, look, hey, I, like you said, I've already talked about this before. You know, we've spoken about this many times. As you know, there's a continuing, uh, you know, case going on that I will have to, you know, attend next year. And I'm leaving up that to my lawyers and my team to handle that. It, it, when You guys will probably know when, when I know. So yeah. basically, and then you say, hey. But I am here and willing to take any questions about football. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. I, I think yeah. that's, the that's fact. exactly what so he should. I, he should start with a declarative, yes. make a statement, exactly what you just said. I want to talk about this. I want to clear my name. I've, I've been advised by my legal team to let the process play out. When it does, I'll have plenty to say. Mm-hmm. But for now, I'm 
only here to talk about football. I, no disrespect to you. I know you guys have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. I will answer any question that is football related. If it's not, I'm just going to look to the next guy. Yeah. And, and you don't have to be Warren Sapp and say next question. Yeah. You don't have to be Marshawn Lynch oh, and yeah. say I'm just here so I don't get fined. There's and I do think to your point, your original point. My God, absolutely, the media is there. Use it. Use them yeah. as mm-hmm. your tool to get your message out. In this case, that message, I believe, should be football-based only. Yeah, and yeah. I think the local reporters yep. want to talk football yes. now. Because they, they've, they've all... They've been immersed in this yes. for months. The national reporters are going to be pushing more towards the, 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 the story, yeah. the off-the-field story. But I think the lo- local reporters, and I know all of us, are ready to talk football. Yeah, yeah. yeah I am. I mean, this is all that. Yeah, this, that's, you don't need to eliminate all those distractions. And just focus yeah, on you've football. got to read because Leroy's on the horn, right? We got Leroy ready.